This is the Ogre from MattOgre.com, WeTheArm.com, and Basin Sports. And what I've got here is a couple Beretta pistols. This is the 92FS model. The U.S. military pretty much calls this the M9. Fantastic pistol, and this gun has been around since the 80s. This gun here is Beretta's newest one. This is the PX4 Storm. It also has been around for a lot longer than you'd think. It's using the same rotating barrel action as the Cougar. So it's a nice, reliable, smooth action. And also a very good handgun. One thing that makes the Beretta 92FS unique is its takedown. Let's show you that real quick. Okay, we are clear. Both the weapons are clear as you've seen. To take this Beretta 92FS down, you push in this button here while at the same time pushing down this lever here in this manner. With that down, it's disconnected and you can take the slide off. Recoil spring and guide rod. And then the barrel comes out like any other auto pistol. What makes the Beretta unique though is this right here. This block right here is what connects and disconnects the gun from the slide. And because you've got this little wedge, this little winged wedge, it allows the barrel to maintain that same relationship. The barrel's not tilting like on most other guns. So you've got these two little wings, disconnect, allows for a very smooth action, and allows the gun, let's put this in place. You can see with the magazine in, it allows for almost a really complete straight shot from the magazine into the chamber. This helps improve reliability. This is one of the reasons why this gun here is just so good and has won again uh, another contract for more pistols for the US military. And you can see how that slides back and forth, locks and unlocks. Very simple mechanism. You can also see how the magazine locks and unlocks the slide with that. So very robust system, very simple, and yet very smooth. The Breda 92 is really one of the smoothest handguns out there for a, a box stock service gun. You really can't beat it. It's fantastic. Now, in the initial trials in the Army, um, when the Army was looking to uh, replace the, uh, the 1911, the Beretta was the only gun to pass all the trials. Actually, they had to dumb down the trials a little bit, reduce those requirements for reliability, so that the SIG could stay competitive. Because the Beretta was just running away with it. And I believe it was the mud tests that caused the SIG to fall out of favor. But the 92FS is... Again, it's probably going to be the U.S. Army service pistol for another five years at least. One of the things I like about it is the safety mechanism. Let's show you that real quick. If the camera will focus in on that, you can see the firing pin in there. And as you push the safety down to decock it, that firing pin rolls out of the way. Then it allows the hammer to drop down onto nothing but frame. There's also another safety. You can see as I pull the trigger, this little block coming up that's a firing pin block so this gun is not going to fire until you put it onto fire pull the hammer all the way back the block goes up out of the way and allows the firing pin to move forward very robust very safe system the way i like to carry a beretta 92 you know if i'm shooting it i'm going to decock it i'm going to put it back onto fire mode and then carefully reholster that's the way I like to carry. Reason being, I can come out of the holster, onto target, pull the trigger, and have the gun go bang without having to worry about the safety. So just a real simple way to do it. And I know a lot of military guys that are packing their guns that same way as well. But if you want to carry it on safe, by all means, go to. And then just use your thumb to push it out of the way when you come out of the holster. But it's a beautiful gun. It's been used in a number of movies. I mean, you can't name a movie through the 90s where the Beretta 92FS wasn't used. Okay, maybe Bridges of Madison County, but I don't watch that wussy girl stuff. Maybe you do. Okay, the Storm pistol 
uses the same trigger mechanism, the same safety mechanism. And here you can see that a little bit better as we drop it out of the way, the firing pin rolls out of the way, and then the hammer drops. You also have that trigger disconnect safety up top. You can see that plunger come up. There it is. So really robust system on that. Now to take the Beretta Storm down, I'm going to pull this out of the way a little bit. And there we go. The Storm's kind of unique too, in that you've got a captive recoil spring, and you've got this little block here. That block is going to rotate the barrel through this groove. You can see that spiral cut groove right there? Let's pull it out. Okay, that groove right there, and that block matches up here and allows that barrel to rotate to lock and unlock the gun from the action. So really smooth, and again, it allows the barrel to maintain its relationship with the sights and target, and it just rotates back and forth to unlock and lock from the slide. Real simple. I find that this area here likes to use a little bit of grease or uh, a real high-quality oil through there. Of course, I like to use slipstream oil in my guns, but a very simple system. And it's been around since the Beretta Cougar, so it's actually even longer than that. I, uh, I believe it was Mauser that had a pistol that used that, that rotating action as well, but they went about it a little differently. Okay, you can only put that in one way, and that's just going to compress a little bit, lock into place. Very good. And lock that into the pistol, like so. Very simple, very good gun. Now, one of the biggest complaints about the Beretta 92FS is that it feels really fat in the hand. It's, you know, you gotta have big hands to shoot it well, people think. And it is, it's a, it's a very large gun. There's no getting around it. It's, it, was does, it was designed to be a uniform duty weapon. The Storm, much narrower. So you've got a narrower profile, and you can see that here. It's a lot skinnier. And one of the reasons, you know, you don't have any grips on the sides. You've just got the frame. A little higher capacity in 9, 17 rounds versus the standard 15. But you can get higher capacity mags for it, so it's really a non-issue. Quality-wise, I'm going to put these Beretta pistols, I'm going to put them up there with Sig Sours. You know, Sig has been known for being, you know, top shelf, high quality stuff. The Berettas really are up there as well. There's no reason... You know, to, to downgrade the Berettas. I've heard people on the gun forum say, oh, Beretta's crap. And I've heard other guys say SIGs are crap. Everybody's got their own personal preference. And that's fine. You can, you can hate. If you want to be a hater, you can hate them. But they're really good guns, really safe. They're very accurate, and they are very reliable, which is why the military keeps buying these. If you don't like them, that's fine. We've got a lot of guns... You know, if you if this doesn't float your boat, we've got lots of options for you here at Basin Sports. The Breda 92FS is retailing here at this time, at the time I post this video, $599. So it's not a cheap gun by any means. It's just a really good gun. The Storms are a little bit less. This is a two-tone, so we got the stainless finish slide, $579. And uh, let's see, here's... The all black storm pistol, 519. We got them in nines and 40s. Give us a call, basinsports.com. Send us a message. You can give us a call at 435 789 2199. You can ask for George, you can ask for Marcus, you can ask for Travis. Anybody that answers the phone back here will be able to help you out and we can get you one of these guns. Sending to your dealer, all FFL rules apply. And if you want to be, you know, you know, a little, you know, a little bit more concerned about concealed carry. We've got the midsize. There's even a subcompact, which is a real thuggish-looking little pistol, but uses uh, the more traditional action, not the rotating action. I like the compact. My brother likes his compact. He loves it. Shoots great with it. They're just really good guns. And I'm not just selling stuff that you know I don't use. Here's here's my 92 FS as well. That's what I rock right there. And that is just a great gun. So basinsports.com, peace out.